everyone. I was just working on this puzzle here and it's pretty easy to get distracted and lose track of time. Do you like puzzles? There are lots of different types of puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles, word puzzles, brain puzzles, and more. My favorite part of a classic jigsaw puzzle is the great reveal. Even if you've seen the picture on the box, there's something so special about seeing that picture take place. It kind of reminds me of hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Hope means that you believe there's a bigger picture, even though you can only see one small piece. It means that you trust God and believe that God can bring good things, even in the toughest situations. All month long, we'll be repeating, whatever happens, remember God is... And we'll learn about all the different ways that we can remember to have hope. Today we'll learn to remember whatever happens, we can remember how powerful God is. Before Jesus went to die on the cross for our sins, he told his friends this, In this world you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. Our hope in Jesus means that we don't have to be afraid of anything that tomorrow might bring. Jesus is alive, which means that hope is alive. Jesus is more powerful than any trouble we face in life. So let's stand up and sing about God's power together now.
When Jesus was living on earth, traveling and teaching, he had no home of his own. But there were a few places that he frequently stayed. One of those places was the house of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. The brother and sisters lived in Bethany, two miles outside of Jerusalem. While Jesus and the disciples were gone traveling and teaching, Lazarus got sick. Really, really sick. And as time passed, Lazarus didn't get any better. He grew more feverish and restless. Mary and Martha became so worried about their brother that they sent a messenger to Jesus. Lord, the one you love is sick. But instead of sending a message back or leaving right away, Jesus turned around and spoke to his disciples. He said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory. God's Son will receive glory because of it. Then, Jesus stayed right where he was for two more days. Perhaps Jesus' friends thought he would just make Lazarus better from a distance. But two days later, Jesus told his friends that they should go back. Now, the disciples weren't sure that this was a great idea. I mean, they had left Jerusalem before because the Pharisees tried to hurt Jesus the last time they were there. Jesus told them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. The disciples were confused. They said, Lord, if he's sleeping, he will get better. But Jesus clarified for them, Lazarus is dead. For your benefit, I am glad I was not there. Now you will believe, but let us go to him. Wow, that was unexpected and so sad. But Jesus had a plan. Jesus and the disciples returned to Bethany. When they arrived in Bethany, they were spotted quickly by the men and women who had come out to comfort Lazarus's sisters. Mary and Martha heard that their friend Jesus was approaching and Martha ran out to meet him. Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you anything you ask for. Jesus then told Martha that Lazarus would rise again. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live, even if they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Jesus asked Martha if she believed this. She said, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God. I believe that you are the one who is supposed to come into the world. Martha ran back to the house and told her sister Mary that Jesus was asking for her. So Mary went to see Jesus. She fell down at his feet. Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. 
Jesus saw Mary's tears and he saw the deep grief of the others around her. He asked where they had put Lazarus. As Jesus followed the crowd to the tomb where they had buried him, his deep sadness overflowed into tears. Everyone noticed. Some people saw Jesus crying and marveled at how much he would loved Lazarus. But others questioned, why couldn't Jesus have just saved his friend? Soon, the group reached the cave where Lazarus' body had been laid. A large rock blocked the entrance. Jesus told them to take away the stone. But Martha said that Lazarus had been dead for four days. If they moved the stone, there would be a terrible smell. Jesus said to her, Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see God's glory? So they pushed away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and prayed. Father, thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. I said it so they will believe that you sent me. Then Jesus called, Lazarus, come out. Amazingly, Lazarus came out of the tomb. He was still wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face but he was very much alive. Jesus told Lazarus' family and friends to take off the burial clothes and let Lazarus go. It was a miracle. Jesus had brought Lazarus back to life. Many of the people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha saw the incredible thing that Jesus had done, and they believed in Jesus too. Jesus demonstrated God's power in a big way that day. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Say that with me. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. If we can remember how powerful God is, that can give us hope whenever we go through something difficult. We can choose to trust God and believe that God can bring something good out of something bad. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. You might have a hard time with a subject at school, or maybe you're having trouble at home, or with a friend. In times like that, you might feel like you're stuck in a puzzle trying to figure out what to do. But remember that our very powerful God is with you wherever you go, whatever you're going through. We may not be able to see or understand exactly how God is working, but we can believe that there is a bigger picture. We've seen how God worked in the past, so we know that we can trust God no matter what. Whatever happens, remember how powerful God is. Let's head to small group now and talk some more about God's power and how it can give us hope. Does it all